President Biden recently visiting Ebenezer Baptist Church, the church of uh, Martin Luther King Jr. and pro choice. <laughs> pro choice. Pa- pro- pro- choice pastor. <gasps> A few moments later. Raphael Warnock and boom, he nailed the gospel. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy mind, and all thy soul, and love thy neighbor as thyself. But in that commandment, in my view, lies the essence of the gospel. Not kidding. President Biden nailed the gospel. If you're a Roman Catholic. As a Roman Catholic, What is the good news of the gospel? It's supposed to be the golden rule, like love thy neighbor as thyself. Okay, let me me suggest to you that that isn't good news. Your definition of good news was actually a law. The law is not good news. The law for us is very bad news. The gospel is not good news if you are a Roman Catholic system because it is a system of a works-based salvation in order to be saved in Joe Biden's church. Get ready for a laundry list of laws. You must be baptized. You must perform works of love. You must participate in the sacraments. You must go to confession. You must work off your sins. You must receive a last rites to increase your chances of going to heaven. So when our Roman Catholic president says the heart of the gospel is law, he's in lockstep with the false Roman Catholic gospel, which is not good news at all. All do not be deceived. Catholics do not believe in grace alone through faith alone. The Council of Trent made that clear like five centuries ago. If you believe in faith alone, you're accursed. Now, there's a problem with that view, and that problem would be the Bible. One, I do not nullify the grace of God, for if righteousness comes through the law, then Christ died needlessly. Two, therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. How clear could this be? Three, for what says the scripture? Abraham believed God. It was counted to him as righteousness. Four, but to one who does not work but believes in him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is reckoned as righteousness. Five, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ and not marrying the saints. For by grace you are saved through faith, not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, so that nobody can boast. If Protestant (laughs) pro-choice Pastor Warnock knew the gospel, he would have mounted the pulpit after the president and corrected him. Sorry, with all due respect, Mr. President, with whom I vote 99% of the time, I am charged to defend the gospel in this pulpit. And you just took Jesus out of context, misquoted him, and turned a gospel of grace into a gospel of works. You just heaped law on people. You did not present the gospel. Why didn't he do that? Because Raphael Warnock either doesn't know the gospel or he doesn't believe the gospel of grace alone through faith alone. And you say, hey, that would just be bad form, man, to publicly correct an official. Nobody would ever do that. Not so fast. I actually saw the little growing pain do that 20 years ago, give or take. We were at an event together. Senator Norm Coleman, who was actually... My good mayor and senator said, when we maintain liberty, then we are free indeed. Kirk followed him and he literally said, with all due respect, Mr. Senator, you misquoted Jesus. He said, if the son has set you free, then you are free indeed. Forget President Biden and Senator Warnock. Not a bad idea, actually. But if you're concerned that your works have only earned you wrath and not reward, then I encourage you to run to Jesus. Turn from your work righteousness. Turn from your sins. Turn from your attempts to earn salvation. And turn to Jesus Christ. Put your faith in him, and he will grant you complete forgiveness 
everlasting life based on his works, not yours. And this offer goes for Raphael Warnock, it goes for Joe Biden, and it goes for you. Good evening, my fellow totally depraved Americans. Chocolate chocolate chip. 